Hello. I'm not doing a good side hang yet, but I'm getting my hair done by someone quite special. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hi. <laughs> and we're doing a proper old Hollywood glam. Not old. Is it not? Well, no. Young Hollywood glam. Young Hollywood we glam. <laughs> we don't like the word old, but this is it in the uh, curls. We just blew it out. Oh my God, it's great. She had hair shampooed in this new money yeah. mask which you guys love. Blew the hair out and we just set it in pink colours yeah. using a uh, curling line. And now we're going to brush it out. Oh my god, this is the fun part. Hello. You ready to do a mukbang? I feel like I've got loose to catch up on, but I went and got my hair done by Chris Appleton. How cool. He has created some of my favourite hair. Some of his like regular clients are Kim K, JLo, Dua Lipa, very cool very very cool i did that this evening what <laughs> i feel like i need to talk about my plane journey down here so i went to my bed last night at a really reasonable time but when i woke up i was just like oh i'm tired i feel really really tired got up i had packed the night before so that was all fine i mean i'm hoping that i managed to pack everything i needed to pack usually on the plane i'm always ready to go, I have my coffee, I read the whole way down and then by the time I get to London, I'm great. No, I got on the plane and I had my book in my hand and I kept on doing, you know the thing when you're falling asleep and you go, like that. I'm sure I was making someone laugh behind me on the plane because it, I couldn't stop. It honestly happened about 30 times. Got to Heathrow, got in the taxi. I never get car sick, but this car journey, I was like, I feel so shit. Got to the hotel, uh, I'm back at the Nomad my home from home. Checked in, quickly changed my shoes, ran to the office. We had two meetings and during the meetings I was putting makeup on so I could go and get my hair done by Chris and not look like a foot. He's not exactly the kind of person you want to look like a foot next to, is he? It all went really well, loved my hair. We went for like, I said old Hollywood glam and he was like, you don't look old. It's new Hollywood glam. I got a uh, takeaway tonight because I just feel like it. I just feel like I need this. It's called Dumpling Legend, which I've actually sat in before and it's just really good. They're really good at delivering in London, aren't they? <gasps> mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is great. Actually, I'm kind of like lost for words. I need a drink. There's a choice between Coke or coconut water. I don't feel like I can have a Coke with this. It would be too much. It's just been one of those days. I feel like I've, I've been, I've not really stopped. And this is actually really nice sitting down. But I've managed to film a wee reel of getting my hair done. So long day, but great day. I got my finger tattoos touched up last week. They're healing quite well, actually. I just need to keep them hydrated, but I can't wear my rings. I'm missing them quite a lot. It's the first time I think I left home without my wedding ring on. It's made, it made me a wee bit sad today. I think I'm just sensitive today. Coconut water is good for hydration isn't it? I went for dinner on Sunday to my friend Caitlin's house. We all had like a family girls dinner and it was so good. And yeah, so I came home and got packed. Had a good sleep. There's literally no reason for me to feel rubbish, but I think I just need some good food and maybe an early night. The reason I got invited along to get my hair done is because Chris is the creative director of Colour Wow. I can't say that. Colour, colour, like how would you say wow? Colour wow. That feels wrong to me. Anyway, <laughs> he's got a product that he launched with Colour Wow. Chris collaborated on a product that's called the Money Mask. I have this next to my bath at home. I've used it a couple of times. It is so nice. And I used it today. Very nice treat to go and do that after my meetings today. I'm going to eat my dinner, hang my clothes up, and I need to watch Euphoria. Apparently it's a gritty episode though. If you are in London and you're near like Covent Garden, two places you need to eat. Dumpling Legend and Eat Tokyo. I came up to my room to get changed and then ran out and I never saw this, but there was a note. Right, Casper. Dear Jamie, welcome back. We are so thrilled to have you staying with us. As per your first day with us, it was Casper the Friendly Ghost. He's super sweet and harmless. P.S. My favourite Vive blush is Malbec. Have a Malbec on us. That was so nice. Made my day. So thank you so much, Eliza. Uh, I'm going to keep this card. I'm gonna have a glass of wine while I watch Euphoria. And that to me sounds like the perfect Monday evening. Hope you all had a nice start to the week. Oh God, I always forget, I kind of talk to you in real time. Yeah. So I'm down here until Thursday afternoon. We've got quite a fun week. It's just like, it's interesting. I'm doing interesting things. And before I started this portion of the vlog, I thought to myself, I was like, can I tell you what I'm doing tomorrow? Unfortunately, I can't. But what you can know is that I am in the office all day tomorrow and then on Wednesday I am up to get ready early to go film a podcast. I've done two. I filmed a podcast last week, I was interviewed last week and I'm doing a podcast this week. And on Saturday I'm doing an event. The next few weeks are busy with like events, just work stuff. It's just I feel like I'm kind of here, there and everywhere. I'm going to Sheffield soon. 
I think by the time that this vlog goes out, you'll know what that's about. And another thing we're doing is we are actually, this is the first time I've ever done this, I think, but we're going backstage uh, for the new Cirque du Soleil, which I have been a fan of Cirque du Soleil since I was very young. I remember my grand took me when I was maybe about seven, they came to Glasgow. And then when me and Jack went to Vegas, we went to go and see Cirque du Soleil as well. I just love it. So we're going backstage to see the makeup. And then we're getting to actually go and see the show and I'm meeting a really great friend of mine, Jen, who I was meant to see and didn't about four times so this is the first time we've seen each other since um since covid so it will be really good i think i'm done for the night i kind of i'm seeing myself stumbling over my words i think i need to switch my brain off watch my program finish up the work i've got to get done and i will see you in the morning <laughs> Too, but the solid, it, 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 uh, could be, well. It's very easy for us, in a way, uh, when we see product in the public like this, uh, we ask for the price. Hello, I have to catch up on my bout of illness. So. I think the last thing you saw was me at work. I started feeling a bit unwell at work and my skin felt really sore. And I hadn't eaten much, I didn't have any breakfast. It was like half three before we got lunch. But I started eating it and it wasn't sitting right. Do you know that way? It wasn't sitting right at all. And then I, my skin started being really sore. So I was like crossing my legs and I was like, oh, that really hurts. And I had to shake a bottle where I was like, oh, that really hurts. So as soon as I finished, I finished at five. I came home to the hotel and I just lay down and I was like, I had some work to do. I had to sit on my laptop, I was meant to sit on my laptop and do my emails. I was meant to film some stories. But I lay down I was like, I feel absolutely terrible. And then I started feeling sick and then I was sick. And then I got a fever and I was up till four in the morning with a fever. And then I think my fever spiked. I was hallucinating and that was just fucking awful. I went to my friend's house for dinner on Sunday and I saw she put on her stories that she wasn't feeling well. And I was like, please just be hungover. And so I texted her and I was like, are you not well or are you hungover? And she's not well and I think we have the same thing. So what's happened is I've had to cancel my work today. It makes me feel fucking terrible and I'm crying. I don't have anyone to look after me and I'm pathetic. But I was like, I need medicine and I couldn't leave the hotel to get medicine. Anyway, I've managed to sleep and I feel much better, but I'm still like my bed, my bed's soaking with sweat. So that is a fun, fun week. But what I'm going to do is get ready and get some fresh air and I'm going to go and do a visit somewhere. And I need to do that, but that's not till two and I think it's about half eleven. I feel fucking terrible. I don't think I've had a sickness bug for years. There's someone hoovering out things. But you know, when you're not well, you're supposed to go home. I really need to get something to eat. Oh, I think I'm going to try and get home. I hate having to cancel work and I hate having to miss stuff. And then I'm upset. Oh my god, I actually think I'm going to cry again. I'm upset because I'm not seeing my friend again. It's been years. It's really shit. But there's worse things happening in the world. I've just got a wee stomach bug, but I just feel like king pathetic. If I eat something as well, I can take my paracetamol. Because I know I took paracetamol yesterday, I forgot you can't take it on an empty stomach. Her hair is well, my hair was so nice. And it was ruined. Fresh fruit. I don't want coffee, it'll make me sick. I think I just want fruit. Fruit and ginger tea, do you think? Then that will set my stomach. Hi there, can I please order some food? Perfect, can I please have the fresh fruit? This is a weird request, but is there any way that I could ask for lychee and strawberries? Don't don't worry about if you can't do it. If you can, then that's great, but if not, then don't worry. Uh, can I also have a ginger tea? Yes, please, yep, lemon and ginger, that's great. Thank you so much, bye. Right, we need to get a grip. This is making me feel better already, look in there. Wow, lemon and ginger tea, which is good for my stomach. Wow, it smells strong. And then, remember on the phone I asked, I don't know, I just wanted lychee and strawberries a lot. And look, I've got this plate, which is all pineapple. This, <laughs> isn't that the best? So an update, 
I'm changed, I'm showered for what I'm gonna do. Let's try and get home tonight. I'm gonna eat my strawberries. I just put some makeup on because I can't walk around like this. I love this hotel so much, but I am scared of this room. I honestly, it was, it was like being, how do you call it when you've got a demon inside of you? It was like I had an exorcism last night. I was sitting in the middle of this bed, like sitting upright, sweat pouring off me. I just want to know what it was. It wasn't something I ate, no way. My skin still feels sore. Little fact about me, my tea is my favourite fruit. My tea is my favourite fruit. Corn in the cob is my favourite vegetable, 100%. I do also really like onions and garlic though. But I think I like lychee because it's hard work. You've got to sit and you've got to peel it. I don't think I've stayed in this side of the hotel before. I, oh, by the way, hence why I've not done a room tour. Uh, I just stay here all the time now because it's so close to the office. Beds are super comfy. They make me lychee and strawberry. And the shower is the best shower in the world. Although, when I had a shower yesterday, I couldn't bear it because it was too powerful on my skin. Do you think I just had a bug? I don't feel sick anymore. I can see people working out of my window. I wonder what they're doing. She's on a Zoom meeting. He's here. Huh? He's working. Wow, this camera's really good. How do my makeup? Looks better, right? Good news for me. I've got a plane home tonight at five. So I need to pack my case. All I want is a bath and Jack to look after me. I can take better seat on him. What a fail. What a huge fail. I'm feeling very disappointed. I knew I wasn't feeling well at the start of this week. I'm watching Euphoria again. I really like this season. Although, how stressful was the newest episode. Maybe that's what brought on my sickness. I am gonna go, and I'll talk to you later. Hello, I'm better. <laughs> I'm going to give you an update, but we need to get ready right now. It's 10 to 7. And my hair's still wet from last night. Are you ready for transformation? I'm using the GHD Max, which is really, really good for straightening hair. And I need to be fast. This is really nice. I use my scalp treatment, but only on the top of my head because I've got extensions in and I don't know if I can use it when I've got extensions in. But my head got really dry again. But I use the scalp treatment and it looks like it's worked. And I also use the money mask, which I really like. It's a cool texture. It's quite thick. When I straighten my hair, let me tell you what happened. I just had a 24 hour bug. I think that's what we've discovered. That's what we've figured out in hindsight. It's, it's probably the sickest I've been in a really long time, which I think freaked me out a little bit just considering I wasn't home. But I was up until four in the morning just not well at all. And then I cancelled my day, which really sucks. I, f I feel terrible about that still. I had to cancel doing a podcast that was all filmed and everything, so letting a bit of a, like a whole team down there. I couldn't meet with my accountant and financial advisor, but they're great and they were like, don't even worry about it. So that was fine. But I was pretty sad to miss the Cirque du Soleil backstage and, and see and my, taking my friend to go and see. So what happened in the morning, um, because my day was cancelled, I, I turned my alarm off and I woke up at half past ten. So so it's like, like six and a half hours and I felt a lot better. Like I wasn't sick anymore. My stomach wasn't hurting. I just felt quite drained. So that's kind of when I realised I was like, right, okay, this is definitely just a 24 hour bug. That in turn made me fit to fly. So I flew home. It's like it was a whole plane home, which is weird. I don't usually sleep on that plane. And then as soon as I got home, I literally had a bath and went to my bed. Actually, it was the day after I got home, I started feeling not sick or anything like that, but I just felt so tired. And my face was like, <laughs> I was just really drained, I think. I had every intention of picking up the vlog camera, but because of me being off, I missed quite a lot. So I actually was back to work yesterday, which was, it was good, it was quite hard, just because I was tired. And I can't believe how floored I am, like the aftermath of it. Wow. I'm just gonna wear my hair straight, you know. And then today, it's Saturday, and I'm getting ready. I'm up and I'm getting ready because I'm going through to Edinburgh, to the St. James Quarter, to do a business event. So it's not a meet and greet, it's like a conversation. I'm really looking forward to actually essentially being interviewed in front of 40 people. I get to talk a little bit more about the business side because when, when meet and greets are happening, I, I don't really get to speak. It's fun because we get photos and things like that, but this is a different type of event. So they've asked me to come along to speak about a little bit of my journey, how Vive came into fruition. See how quick that straightens your hair. If you wear your hair straight and your hair's thick, 
this is the one. And yeah, just if you've had that awful virus, I'm sorry, because it was just so gross. I don't know if it's norovirus or not. I've had norovirus before, but, it, but norovirus lasted a bit longer than what I had there. So my hair's done. I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm not gonna do a full tutorial, but I'm gonna say the product I'm using, and then I'll finish the step, okay? But the first the reason I want to do this is because, have you tried the Charlotte Beautiful Skin Foundation? It's amazing. And I like a little bit of a beauty blender moment with it, you know? I've prepped my base with my skincare, which I think this morning, actually, I'm a bit, I'm a bit stupid this morning, but I just used my fresh water, my fresh nectar water, and then the polyglutamic acid by the Inky List, and then Skin Nova. So super fresh, easy base this morning. But for me, and if this happens to you, then please hear me. When my base doesn't last long, it's when my skin's dehydrated. Everything starts sliding about because it's like the makeup's got nothing to grip onto almost. And obviously when your skin's dehydrated, it starts producing more oil, which just makes you look greasy. So when I do a base like that, like a, a skincare base like that, um, it works really, really nicely. But this foundation, look. Oh, it just looks like skin. It's super nice. I've not seen many reviews because I've, I've not really been, I've not really been looking for reviews, but on me, combination skin is really, really nice. Modern bronzer in the shade medium on the cheeks. Piazza Sunset Blush, boop, boop, boop. pat it off right at the back. It's like the bold, perfect blusher for people that love bronzer. <laughs> Moving on to eyes, I'm doing eye wand and sand. Muse palette, I'm just going in with the shade Bow and a fluffy brush and I'm kind of doing like a wash of colour but in the crease because I don't want too much going on with my eyes today. And then I'm going to just curl my eyelashes and put mascara on. And the mascara I've been using a lot of, it's worth it. Right. See the hype, the hype around this mascara, the Maybelline Sky High. It's very good. Got carried away, didn't I? <laughs> my lip is Deity and Aphrodite. I need to finish my brows. I'm just heating up my little fringe curler. I've done 24 hour brow setter and now I'm doing Gimme Brow. Just add a wee bit more colour. This is my favourite way to do fast brow. If I'd woken up earlier, although I really don't know if I could have done that, because I got up at half six, and if you know me, it's not my bag, especially since recovering from my bug. If I'd got up earlier, I might have done my face gym depuffing, because I look quite puffy today. And the good thing is, how long have I got? 45 minutes, and I know what I'm wearing, so that's fine. I can't believe that's the week over. I feel like it's been robbed from me. Okay, so today we're gonna do powder highlight because we're gonna have masks on and off. And I'm not an anti-masker, please don't. This is, I just don't want to wear a mask when I'm wearing nice makeup. We're gonna do holy chic on the high points. Whoa. Nice, right? So I need to pack some makeup with me today just for touch-ups. So we're gonna do lipstick, lip liner. If you've not tried the beef shark, no, it's the best. Powder. I might take some foundation actually, just for touching up. Okay, I think I'm ready. I'm gonna come back and show you what my outfit's like. I had an idea, we'll see what happens. I'm freezing today, so I'm wearing a polo neck. This is the best polo neck I've ever worn. It's new, it's from Commando. Wow, my hair is so soft. Right, there's the short bit. Let's do it backwards. Ah. This is the GHD Rise Hot Brush. That's a bit better, okay. I'm ready. We have the Ast, I don't know how, it's no, Stradivarius jeans. These are the flared jeans. They've got a little slit in them. They're really similar to the Zara ones that I love. So I got them in black. I've got the Mista boots, which you will see on my feet forever. Big square toe, love it. The Commando polo neck. Really nice, it's like a seamless fit. Um, if you've not looked at Commando before, unbelievable. The bralettes, the tops are really, really good. And the leggings as well. Um, and then this is a All Saints leather blazer. I do quite love it. I think whenever I wear these boots, I just get huge 70s vibes and it's my fave. They are big, like they make my feet look even bigger than they are, but I love it. <laughs> okay guys, do I look nice? Do you know, do you think I look nice? Yeah? Oh, are you gonna wait here for me to get back? Guess what I'm gonna do tonight when I get home? Daddy's gonna be home really, really soon. And then we're gonna chill out. Yes, oh, big man. We go. you gonna do a wee kiss? Oh. I 
quite nervous, but it was actually, there's no need at all. Jack's going home now for the dogs, and I've got two more sessions, but I will leave the vlog here for now. And yeah, if you came along, thanks very much. I just loved it. Really good. I get, always get wee moments of like, oh my God, what's going on? <laughs> Do they look like eyeballs? Yes. Oh, look at my little naked body. This yeah. is the good part. I might actually. Oh shit, I knew that would happen. I don't feel very well. Cirque du Soleil. So, sorry, du Soleil. I can't speak to you. Oh, my eye. Oh no. Oh my god. I look extremely perfect.